Hi guys, this is Joe from Prep Agent. Many of you guys ask me, what broker should I work for after I pass? Well, here's your answer. Call Bob on Main Street, 245-6382. Tell him Joe sent you. You're guaranteed a million dollars in the first year. No problem. Write that down. Okay, no, no, no. Just kidding. It's not going to be that simple. But I think you guys know that. I know you guys want that answer. You want me to give you a name, number, call them, done. Everybody has a happy day, happy life. Make a million dollars. But the truth is choosing a broker is choosing an important relationship. Okay, and you have to go with your gut instincts. Now, the first thing I want to tell you guys is understand this decision is not permanent. It can be if you want, but you can always change your broker. So if you start with somebody, you get off on the wrong foot, you could always change brokerages. So don't think that this decision is going to set the course of the rest of your career. It can, or it could be something you can move on from if it's not working out. So don't sweat it. The next thing I want to tell you guys is the biggest thing you're going to do is get a feel for who they are and the person you'll be working with on a day-to-day -day basis. So when you go interview the brokerages, you need to ask, who am I going to be working with every single day? Okay. Who is the person who's going to answer my questions about contracts, help me find good title reps to work with, good loan officers, go with me to open houses, walk through that first deal with me when I have a lot of questions and I'm scared. Talk to me about how I'm soliciting business. Am I doing it right or am I doing it wrong? And give me their opinion and they really care about what it is I'm doing. Okay. Many brokers have a mentor, sometimes work directly with a broker. Some have teachers and classes, different things. And I don't want you to get it caught up with their structure or their commission split or different types of things they're offering, whether it's desks or up desk time or things of that nature. The most important thing is who will you be working with on a day-to-day -day basis, regardless of their title, whatever it may be, and does that person have a connection with you? So when they tell you that person, you got to ask to meet with that person, obviously. When you meet with that person, start talking to them and be like, what do you think about me starting out? What do you think of my situation? Ask them questions. Honestly, the questions are not that important, or excuse me, their answers are not that important. What is important is how they answer. When they answer you, and if they're giving you very boilerplate answers, very run-of-the-mill, kind of like they memorized it in a training class, for me, that's a red flag. But if they look like they're sincerely interested in you and talking to you like a real person, having a real conversation with you, and it seems like somebody you'd be comfortable sitting at Starbucks with and chatting with, then maybe that's a good thing and something you should take into account as a very valuable asset. Now, the reality is you can't listen to other people. Because other people's relationship with this person may not have gone that well, but it doesn't mean yours will not go well and vice versa. Theirs may have gone well, but yours may not. Okay, because this is a personal relationship and we all have different likes, different, you know, little mannerisms and, you know, we don't click with everybody. So that's my biggest advice I could give for you in choosing a broker. I want you guys to not take into account these tangible things that he tells you about commission splits, um, market share mentor things, uh, courses, all that kind of stuff. And I want you to take into account exactly who you'll be working with, who's going to help you, whether it's a broker, a mentor, a teacher, or somebody else in the office, whatever they may have for you. And do you have a genuine connection with that person? Is it somebody you really think you could confide in, somebody you could rely on to help you through difficult times, and somebody who looks like they're just generally a good person? Usually these people, if they're good, are just really good souls that you want to connect with. They're usually not out for the commission. Very often they're people who've had success in their own right. And now they're just willing to help people out either because they just like people, they have a good heart, or maybe they see it as another way to learn new things through new eyes, whatever it is, there's a lot of good people out there who will be happy to help you. And you got to find those people and make sure you have a good connection with them. So, that's my advice for right now. I'm sorry if it wasn't exactly what you wanted to hear with a, just a very black and white answer of giving you a name and address and somebody to call, but that's the truth. So if you want to be successful, choose somebody you have a connection with and keep in mind, you could always change the brokerage you're working with. So Joe from Prep Agent. See you guys in the webinar. Thanks. Bye.